Hello, my rubber hearts. Welcome to the very first mini episode of our Mythbuster series here in season three. These are shorter episodes where we take one quick question, common confusions, or little myths that float around the rubber industry and set the record straight. Today's myth is one I've heard many times. Does higher hardness mean stronger rubber? It's an easy assumption to make. If a rubber feels harder under your fingers, surely it must also be stronger, right? Well, not exactly. Hardness and strength are related, but they are not the same property. Hardness, measured most often with a shore aid durometer, tells us how resistant the surface of the rubber is to indentation. Think of it as how much the material pushes back when you press into it. A 90 Shore A rubber is definitely going to feel much stiffer than a 40 Shore A rubber. But hardness only measures surface indentation. It doesn't tell you how much stress the material can handle before it tears or breaks. Strength, on the other hand, is measured in tensile testing. It's the maximum stress a rubber can withstand before it breaks usually expressed in megapascals. A soft rubber can still have a very high tensile strength, while a hard rubber might be brittle and snap under much lower stress. A nice everyday comparison is chewing gum versus a pencil eraser. Gum is very soft, basically no hardness at all, but it can stretch to incredible lengths without breaking. An eraser, on the other hand, feels hard under your finger, but pull on it too much and it will tear pretty quickly. That is the difference between hardness and strength in action. In practice, you'll often see hardness increase as you add fillers or change cure systems, but that doesn't automatically mean your tensile strength improves. In fact, sometimes making a compound harder will reduce its elongation and toughness. So the myth is busted. Higher hardness does not necessarily mean stronger rubber. They are different properties and both need to be tested and understood separately. And that's our first Mythbusters mini episode. Quick, simple, but important. If you've got other myths or confusions you'd like me to cover, drop them in the comments. I'd love to keep busting them with you.